Right, so in this little skimboarding series video, this video right now is about Formica or HPL. Formica or HPL has been used for a long time in flatland skimboarding. A lot of people um, probably more commonly know it as it's used in a lot of kitchen and bathroom surfaces and things like that. Most people probably haven't seen Formica other than when it's attached to a surface. This is right here, this is an off cut of Formica. This is exactly what goes on some of the skimboards that I make, in particular wood boards. Formica is a resin infused laminate, brown on the back, we'll touch on why it's brown on the back in a, in a second, and pressed with some form of pattern as to the manufacturer's choosing um, and specifications on the other side. Now what this does, you can probably see it is very thin, it usually runs in under one millimeter of thickness. It's quite brittle, um, very bendy, uh, very abrasive. It's sort of like the edges of these are broken. It's just sort of like a bluntish serrated knife. And it's formed by itself. It's nothing special. It's really got nothing to do with anything. But when you put it on a skimboard, it makes for an exceptionally hard wearing and exceptionally durable an exceptionally fast and well performing surface. So that is it in its raw form. And as you can see here, I've got two boards to show you. This is one of my cheapest Gromlin series. This is what Formica looks like, brand new on a skim board. Now in this series of board, the Gromlin, there is just a Formica bottom sheet. What this does to a skim board, it makes for a, an incredibly fast and incredibly durable surface to the board. Now, as I mentioned a minute ago, all Formica or HPL is brown on the back. Now, this is just this resin infused pressed thing that they do in the manufacturing process. I'm not here to tell you about how they manufacture it. I'm here to tell you its application on a skimboard. All skimboards will change from its pattern on the surface to eventually that in terms of where it's wearing. Now, this can this varies a lot in terms of the rider, the beaches that you're on, um, the frequency of use, you know, every variable. Sand is very abrasive, so your pretty patterned board will eventually, on the base, turn to brown. I have a perfect example of that right here. Um, this is a very well worn in one of my slip easy boards. Now, as you can see, this is incredibly hard wearing for Mica, this particular colour. I've hit rocks and shells and probably oyster shells. It's worn through at the tail. We've gone into the second ply at the tail. Um, this board is still fine. This is still fine for use. It is very worn, but it is still fine for use. I would be very hesitant to say this is worn out. It's still in peak performance, really, as far as I'm concerned. And this particular model of board, like quite a few boards seen around the world, runs a Formica top sheet as well. Now that's really there from a construction standpoint. It makes for the sandwiching of the board very straightforward. Also makes the whole board and the whole construction of the board very um, easy to, to tailor to the manufacturer's needs. And that's basically what Formica does. Any wood board out there, as far as I'm concerned, that you don't see with Formica on it is probably second tier. That's how I would rate it. It has been used I have been using it since 2008, so I've been using it for 13 years and I by no means were early to the skimboarding game. So there you go, that's just a little look at Formica and how it can help you with your skimboarding. And lastly, feel free to drop any questions, suggestions for videos, anything you want to know about skimboarding down below. I am of course based here in New Zealand and I run Oxia Skimboards. I, there is no need to ask me questions about a said beach in another part of the world or another company's boards i'm here to speak on my own stuff and what works for me and what i know about skimboarding down here in new zealand you can find all the links and anything you may need to know you can contact me via the description box down below